Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Luigi's Mansion. Last time we had the big Boo losses fight on the balcony, and today we are going to kind of go all over the mansion. We've got a lot of things that we're going to be doing, and it's going to require us kind of doing a bit of an out of sorts episode. There isn't really a lot of continuity in the way that I intend to approach this, so you'll just have to bear with me. We are going to be going from the top to the bottom and back again. There's a lot of, I want to say this is their attempt to pad the game out, so bear with me. But first, we actually have a little bit of botany to do. This is one of the side quests that I guess you could call it that in the game that they offer to you, where we've been following along and watering this plant splash this knob with some goo and receive the ultimate reward suck up all of the cash money and prepare yourselves viewers for the ultimate gem i believe this is one of the best gems you can get in the game it's the gold diamond which i think is worth roughly the same amount as three diamonds so that's pretty good a really nice reward if i do say so myself pretty excited about that and refill your water element gauge before you make your way forward. We're actually going to be heading back to the balcony all the way up on the third floor. And the way that the mansion is set up is very strange where this second floor of the foyer is not always connected in the same way. So we actually need to go and head upstairs. So first off, we're going to go back to the third floor. We have to set the story in motion. Everything is very peaceful and calm now because of clearing out this floor and beating the bosses. But things are going to get a little crazy here in a few moments. Also, a little side note, hopefully all of you have had a good holiday season. You've been spending time with your friends and your family or just chilling solo, whatever you're into. And now that it's 2023, we're going to kick off the new year with this continuation of Luigi's Mansion, obviously. And maybe a good New Year's resolution for you is to maintain some uh, some plants, maybe get your green thumb going. So if you water the plants up here on the balcony, you can actually nab yourself some gems and a nice JPEG of the moon. Why not? This is something that's very easy to miss, and these gems are obviously pretty neat. There's a Blood Diamond, big fan of those, along with the CEO of Twitter, and catching as many gems as you can is going to improve your overall ranking in the game if you're into that, if you're into being an MLG Pro. There are, I think, three gems up here, so you can get some cash, you can get some ingots, and then... If you water the right plants, which in this case, it's these ones, you can grab all three gems. Looks like two, maybe emeralds and then the blood diamond. So pretty cool. You know, we're just uh, racking up money and endorsing tragedy. Anyway, so if you come back up here, we can now finally unseal this door. And make our way into the final area of the mansion, right? Well, this doesn't look, look correct. Well, who turned out the lights? Things are getting a little stormy. Not the best start to 2023. Uh-oh. Looks like that storm knocked out the power. That's not good. Do you know who loves blackouts? The, the basic ghost in the game that we've been fighting all along. So we went all the way through this mansion, multiple floors, putting together all this hard work. And what's our reward? More basic ghosts. Ain't that something? So yes, all the ghosts that previously you'd cleared out in other rooms will return. Every floor at this point is just considered a, a blackout, or every room is considered a blackout floor. So they're just gonna throw a ton of ghosts at you. It's not even a normal amount, there's a lot. And you'll probably run into them, as I have. 
But this gives you the chance to kind of practice your uh, your ghost capture. And it's been a little bit since we've done kind of the basic ghost capture. Most of the things that I've been after have been the kind of the mini game slash not mini game, but the mini boss ghosts. Those have been kind of the ones that I've been doing, along with the actual bosses of the various areas. So this is kind of neat. Gets you a little bit of practice. See if you can work on your double and triple re-kills. I don't, know, I don't know if I've actually gathered in some of these ghosts, like in this case, this blue one. I don't know if I've ever actually caught one of them. That's pretty neat. But hopefully you're all doing well. Hopefully your 2023 is starting off. For those of you who are, like myself, going back to the old office place, hopefully this gives you something to enjoy in your first or second day back. It's been a hot minute since I've been at work, so... You just gotta get back into the swing of things. Isn't that kind of tough, everybody? When you haven't been putting in the old hours, punching the time clock, and you just gotta get back to it. it takes a little bit of time to brush the rust off. I understand. That's okay. In the same way with this game, you know, we're brushing the rust off with capturing ghosts. We haven't done that. We also haven't been bowling in a while. I actually went bowling recently, and I can confirm 100% that I don't care for it. So that's a fun fact for all of you. Bowling two games is kind of like my max, and no matter how long it takes me, it is not something that I particularly enjoy. There's just something very samey about it, and trying to brush off failure in front of dozens of people watching you is not the most fun thing. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. Instead, we're heading to the foyer. This is kind of what I was getting at earlier. Tons of ghosts. And also, the way that the foyer is set up, it's a little strange because this upper area isn't connected to the rest of the house for some reason. This second floor is just kind of like a solo thing. Also, this is really annoying. This does give you a chance to kind of practice your double and triple skill, double and triple kill skills though. So that's pretty fun. There you go, there's a nice triple kill for you. If you do clear out the ghosts in these rooms, though, they don't respawn right away. So you do have the benefit of not having to go back immediately and clear them out. So when you leave this room and you go into another room, it's not going to be as chaotic as it would be. But you still have to take advantage of getting rid of them. And you can even do double kills of different types of ghosts, or at least attempt it. There's a nice triple kill for you. Or a double kill. It's pretty cathartic, actually, when you can net all three of them at the same time. It feels good. We've come so far, viewers. Can you believe it? We finally made it. I love it. But in order to cure this blackout, we actually need to get access to the basement. We don't have that yet. But maybe this... Uh, this nice clothing store man could help us out. He's maybe a tailor of sorts. I kind of feel bad for aggressively going after this old ghost. I don't know how that works exactly, but I'm assuming, like most people do, they die when they're old. Um, and so he just got kind of stuck here in limbo in this mansion, Luigi's Limbo Mansion. That's a pretty easy ghost to go after though. There's not really a whole lot you have to deal with except for stupid bouncing mushrooms. But go ahead, collect all the pearls. Here, Luigi's little... Very nice, there's the key. This unlocks one of the rooms in the basement. Someplace we have not been yet. I've attempted to go there multiple times. Foolishly. But this is the first time that the game actually intends for you to go into the basement. Okay, so it looks like your... Your spawn refresh is two rooms. So you can kind of get through it in two rooms. I usually just try to ignore it, but sometimes it's a little fun just to practice sucking. Because I've already done that plenty in this Let's Play, so why not get good at it? Pretty nice. Okay. So now we can leave that part of the house. We don't really have much reason to go back. Instead, we are going to head right to the basement and try to dodge as much stuff as we can. All the hallway ghosts of infinite variety are back. 
course. The bombs, the bowling balls, the shocky explodies. So we'll first try the wrong door, and then instead, little suspense for you, here's the right one. This episode is Find Key Open Door Simulator. So hopefully you're all into that. Come on, Luigi. This is gonna make everything a lot easier, trust me. So in this room, no ghosts. But what there is, is a breaker. Flip that bad boy on and restore the power. It's as simple as that. And in doing so, you get a prize. There is, of course, a boo in this room, so after the fact, there will be a ghost, but there's no alternative methods you need to do. Instead, you just get another key. Open a door, do a task, get a key. Open a door, do a task, get a key. Rinse and repeat. This actually just opens up the door right next to us, so, or below us, I suppose. Pretty convenient. Let's see if we can sniff that boo out here, though, while we're still waiting. We're actually getting really close to the, kind of the end of this game. Once we move along out of the basement, we'll actually be heading towards the bulk of the third floor, which is area four. And that's actually kind of end game. So we're in the kind of the final third, I would say, of the game itself as we struggle to get the boo to come out of these barrels. He's boozing, if I had to guess. Just getting wine drunk. There we go. Booby hatch. I'm nuts. And as you can see, all the boos that you're going to catch in the later sections of the game are probably going to have at least 100 HP, if not more. That one had 200. And we're going to see one in a little while that's got even more than that. So prepare yourselves. It's going to be kind of annoying. If you're after getting all the boos taken care of, then you will have to go back multiple times, of course, and sniff them out and suck them up. That's what you're into. There's an ice ghost. We actually haven't dealt with one of those in a while. We're not going to deal with it now because I didn't catch it, so that's a bummer. But in this room, this is actually the, uh, the prequel to Skyward Sword. There's all these dust piles on the ground. You can suck those up. This is actually where they got the inspiration for the gust bellows. Interesting. Not really. I'm just kidding. But it does help to nab the ghosts in this room if you do take the, uh, the dust piles out first. It's kind of gross if you think about it. You know, dust is basically for the most part like just piles of like dead skin cells and flesh and bleh, gross stuff like that. If you remove the dust piles, it obviously will make it easier. The ghosts will kind of move around a little bit, so not really a ton to worry about there. They'll spawn on the other side of the room, which kind of defeats the purpose of doing this, but you never know. And oddly enough, you can see that switch down there. It'll put you up on the ceiling. I don't know why they put that in this room, but no clue. This seems like it's just another storage room here. Not really a ton to worry about, and just the two ghosts, so that's nice. Plus the... Too, of course. It's going to be very annoying. If you intend to finish off the rest of the game and collect all the boos, which I'm still on the fence about, I haven't quite decided, but if you do intend to do that, you'll have to keep coming back to these rooms as they sift through the walls and don't play nice. This one, Buripides, Buripides Pants, is only at 100, but it's going to skidoo right away and you're not gonna be able to get it so and what's weird is the game still has like the fake boo moment where you have to get the ball or the bomb that pops out i don't really understand that it's not it doesn't make any sense but whatever that's enough work here in the basement as far as i know we won't have to come back here unless i decide to get all the boos but i haven't quite figured that out yet instead we actually need to head all the way back to the third floor. So we started out in the middle. We went to the top. We went all the way down to the bottom. Then we're going all the way back down, back up to the top again. So this episode is all over the place. Luigi is definitely getting in his steps. Which, fun fact, viewers, the idea of like 
I guess the modern thing is like the pedometer, the Fitbit, whatever you have to get your steps in. There's this idea of 10,000 steps. Um, I don't remember when it was invented, but the pedometer was invented by, I think, some Japanese company in like the 80s as a way to get people more active and a way to, to kind of get them excited and have fun with doing exercise. And it turns out that that whole 10,000 steps thing is just kind of made up BS. There's no real science behind 10,000 being the amount of steps that you have. Same thing with like the whole eight cups of water. If you are using the imperial system, you know, 64 ounces. There's no real, you know, specific amount. It obviously just depends on you know, your body type and your level of activity, what type of a job you have or how up and down you are, right? So it's all relative. Humanity is all relative. It's a very gray existence for all of us. But anyway, now that we have that key, we can start, we can start to explore more of the third floor. This is the final area of the game. And when you know it, here's the telephone room with some nice big chests. You know how much I love a nice big chest. Some old phones. These are kind of more akin to, uh, I think these are called rotary phones. You'd put your finger in the little slot with a number on it and you would twirl it all the way back to the number you wanted and it would go just like that. It's exactly what it sounds like. I actually uh, was the one who invented that sound, so. Here you go, we got the bones guy. Two of them in here, conveniently. We'll be able to pick them up a little bit easier than we did in the boneyard or the graveyard, which is weird, but much easier to fight here, trust me. They're kind of fun though. They remind me of the uh, the color dungeon from Link's Awakening, the two guys who are kind of the, the head honchos of that. Opening that up will get us another chest once again. This time, just money. And one last boo to take care of, of course. Not too bad. This room's kind of annoying though, because the boos like to hide in strange places. I don't know if it's like the hit boxes of the places that I search are just not accurate or what, but it is a struggle. But we're setting ourselves up really nicely. We've got a lot of cash, a lot of gems, a lot of fake boo balls. We are very close to wrapping this game up. I've never actually beaten this game. This is my first ever playthrough of it, and it's very exciting. Hopefully you're all gonna be excited for what's gonna come next. I do have plans, along with the highest boo to date, the boo the boomerang. Do a little bit of sucking on him for now, but probably not gonna be able to knock off too much of the health. It's, I would imagine with a boo like that, it's gonna take you two or three good college tries to get that one done. So once you wrap this room up, you only have the room to the north, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the day. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Luigi's Mansion. Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.